So in this video, we got to revisit something from an old video from a long time ago, back when I made bad videos, like it be yesterday. Um, it's not any of this stuff here. This is uh, not Lego. It is this. Can I get Ronald without breaking him? His hand sometimes falls off. We're going to be looking at Ronald McDonald. He's gotten all faded. This is my fault. It wasn't, I don't think it was this faded when I got it, but it, uh, the light uh, did that. So I was talking to Wild Bricks, Georgia. There are a BrickLink store here in my area, and they will have one of these, but it's incomplete, and they want to see how the build goes for the feet. So that's what we're going to do. Boy, this thing's gotten bad. All right, so I'll just go ahead and show the try to go around the whole thing there's a lot of plates in here like in his face it's mostly plates this is plates it's like two by two two by four two by three plates for his arm there we'll turn around to the back the head of course would be a little bit harder to figure out the build I mean you could probably get close to it but the main thing that they wanted to see were, were the legs I think the mine, the arm falls off a lot. The glue has worn out. Uh, these were glued models. And I'm thinking these are white bricks. They look tan. <laughs> I think they were supposed to be white. I think it's just faded over time. They're so bad they look tan, don't they? The stickers held out pretty good, just not the Lego bricks themselves. I think somebody said it's the fire retardant <laughs> that makes them... He's got a bubble butt. All right, well, let's go down here to the legs. I feel like I'm doing Izzy's toy time now. All right, um, so that looks like a two by eight right there. Go around to the back. There's another two by eight. On this side, that's a two by eight. Yeah, two two by eights. Looks like it's symmetrical. Two by four. 2 by 3 I think. No, 2 by 4. It's a 2 by 4. <laughs> yeah. I need to clean this. I don't think I've ever cleaned it even from when I bought it. So, yeah, it looks pretty bad. I don't know if this is going to work. That piece right there looks like it's hanging. That two by, 1 by 2 right there. Looks like there's a 1 by 4. 2 by, two by 4, 2 by 4, and then here's... 2x4, two 2x3, by two by and these look like 2x4s going sideways through here, and then 2x3s right there, instead of a 2x6, it's two 2x3s, two and then 1x4, I mean 2x4, two 2x4, by four, two by four, 1x4, by four, and then the 1x2 one, one is hanging there, and then some plates right there. What kind of plates are those? Are those two by four by four plates? I think they are. They're four by four plates. Then under that is a one by twos. It looks like one by twos. Yeah, they're all one by twos. It's like six one by twos to do that. And then that actually looks like a tile. So they got a half a stud off, so it's gotta be jumper bricks. There's gotta be jumper bricks right there that and it's got the groove right there so that is a jumper brick that's a jumper brick that's a jumper brick right there you can see that and then the rest of it looks like one by threes and two by threes one by three two by three so you got it's three by three basically uh, the legs to that point and then we probably got some more jumper bricks right here at the feet Looks like, yeah, probably got six one by two jumper bricks right there. And then more jumper bricks. These are all jumpers, red jumpers, red jumpers. Then two by four, two by four, two by four, uh, two by four, two by four, two by ten, I think. Yeah, two by ten to get to there. Boy, I gotta clean this thing. All right, and there's like two one by two sticking right there. Pretty simple 
I hope I've shown it enough where anybody could build at least the feet part of it. You could freeze frame it on anything, uh, but it's not complicated. Right there, a lot of 2x4 bricks, 2x10s, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, 2x10s for the base. Pretty simple. Just don't know some of these heavier, like where his bubble butt is and stuff. All right, so that is a close look at his legs. Let me know, Wild Bricks, if I didn't show enough of his feet. Um, but I think I think I did. All right, let's go do this Pablo. All right, this is the second time this has happened to me. I apologize. This is... <laughs> oh, I literally just did five minutes of video, and the vid it was not recording. Anyway, now i got to start all over. All right, so this is... I did a Pablo. I picked the order. And this was for career high. He had nine pieces in, in uh, five lots. Picked it. I was talking about it. Talked about how he got four spiders. <laughs> he got a snake. He got these two pieces. He got Scooby-Doo. He got a dirty lot. So, and he's getting brick. Brick czar brick number 160. Six. I just ate ice cream. Hold on a minute. Ugh. All right. So I apologize. I actually filmed me going and picking the stuff. I thought I was filming it. And then I was talking about some other stuff. And I look and my camera said all zeros. So this is his order. I want to thank him uh, for picking this order. It's going to go out. It's going to go in this envelope. But interesting combination. Spider, snakes, Scooby-Doo. Lotso, Brick, and these two random pieces. Uh, this is the, the kind of Pablo that's easy for me to do, and I appreciate it. And, I, um, and, not, and I'm not complaining about the hard ones, but I want to explain the situation because i got three people, at least, uh, that I owe Pablos. Uh, and I did film them. I was trying to use my helmet cam, which is a GoPro that I put on my head. And I got about 40 something minutes of footage and I got to go back and determine <clears throat> which ones are which uh, it should be in chronological order I picked them in the order who who I filmed them in the order that they placed the order so uh, I just gotta I gotta figure out when it stops I should have used a clapper board <laughs> and uh, I don't know why I'm laughing so uh, so I did a Pablo for these people. This was Mayo's right here. And then this is Dr. McBrick. Dr. McBrick, your, yours was filmed. Yours was like 35 minutes long. I was actually listening to Brickatech do a live stream while I was picking your order. I may just upload it like that. And you hear Brickatech in the background. I should ask Greg if he... I don't think he would care. Uh, it's, it's just playing in the background. Um, and then Mikey got a brick. And then this is Uncanny Santo. I remember filming yours. <laughs> and then this one is for Zyquan. And I think I remember filming yours because you had your, your parts were going to be for a train. So y'all three are the ones I owe uh, a video because uh, you placed an order. And it's just things got hectic. And I was trying to get the... Um, I Well, you know, when I was doing Dr. McBricks, my SD card actually filled up. So I, I ran into that problem. Fortunately, the GoPro tells me when it stops recording. I just sometimes don't know if it saves the last part of it, but it's it's a it's quite a video, and I may just upload it as it is. The 35 minutes I was going to try to speed it up, but I got sick watching it. Uh, but yeah, Doctor McBricks, big order, and I, I think also this other one, Ancani Santo, was a pretty big order, and Zyquan's was smaller, but it was a lot of cool parts for uh, the train build that he was doing. So just want to let you guys know. So, I mean, y'all ordered before, like, um, Career High did here, and also Biscuit Head. Just want to let you know that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this look at uh, Ronald. He's in bad shape. I'll need to see if I can clean him up a little bit. I wish I could replace these white pieces that have um, lost their color there. I hope this helps Wild Bricks or anybody really wanting to try to, to build one for themselves. This was, again, a Happy Meal toy. Uh, display Ronald got this on eBay I came with the case I still have the case that came in but before I changed all these lights these are all um, 
LED lights in there. They're not, no longer fluorescent, uh, but it caused this to fade and it caused the display case to fade very bad. I actually went back and watched my original video where I got this and I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, it wasn't perfect. I mean, it was already worn out when I got it and stuff, but it looks, it actually looks a lot worse. <laughs> Uh, so that's before I knew about uh, what fluorescent lights would do. And I really don't know that LED is really much better. It's supposed to not have the UV in it, but uh, apparently it's still got a little bit. But Wild Bricks, there you go. And I hope I can come by and check out your store. Her store is one of the largest in Georgia. I think Atlanta Brick Company, she said, is bigger. I don't ever look at Atlanta Brick Company because uh, the prices are really high. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're, anyway, <laughs> oh, I know, oh, I, I know one thing I was, I was filming earlier when I thought I was filming and then I wasn't, let me go over here, let me look, oh yeah, I am still filming, <laughs> but, um, this is my list of stores that I have my shopping cart and sometimes things change. I've had some of these shopping carts for months, so this is why a lot of them, the something I had in the cart will either change price or some, most likely sold. I need to go out and clear the shopping carts because what I do is I'll put stuff in my cart, but it's either not at the price I want or I'm going to wait and see if there's other things that I want before I place the order, especially the ones that are over in Europe. And then sometimes I forget about it. <laughs> But I did have one for wild bricks up here. It's gone now, but she had some quattro bricks I wanted, and I, I left it in my cart too long. Somebody got the main ones that I wanted, and so I never placed the order. Uh, but I wonder if I have ordered. Let me look. Well, I'm not going to look now. I, I need to do a thing where you can you can search uh, the actual stores. Wild bricks. I think you have to spell it exactly the way they spell it. Oh, I know a better way. <laughs> I, know, the, I do this the easy way. <laughs> I'm doing it the hard way. We're going to go to Wild Bricks. Wild Bricks, Georgia. Let's see what they got. They got 10,599 lots. And how many pieces? 420. Oh, they're okay. I really thought they had more than that, but they might have sold some. I could have sworn they had way more than that, but 424000 That's about 150000 at least, more than me. So there they go. Um, pretty big store. Oh, this, I, I was also going to do another thing, a, a game. Like if you had a BrickLink store, <laughs> how many things are on my wanted list? But my wanted list is kind of messed up right now. Uh, these are parts for... Um, in, yeah, almost everything here I don't need except for the uh, trains are torso. Uh, I, I got to fix my uh, wanted list. <laughs> the green parts were for the Burlington Northern uh, boxcar I was going to build, but I think I got all those parts already. So I have got to fix my wanted list because I want to do a game where I put things in my wanted list and then see which stores actually have parts. Um, but my wanted list is kind of weird. Oh, that got too long. I'm going to end the video. Everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for the, the Pablo, the Picking a Bricklink Lego order. And we'll see you in the next video.